what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome today we are going to be creating a look using the Vita and Muerte palettes from Melt Cosmetics but we are going to be doing this palette bingo style I'm really excited about this but I'm a little nervous at the same time because I don't know how well I'm going to do creating a look using shades that I didn't get to pick out myself at the end of the day this is just for fun it's makeup it washes off but fingers crossed that I pull this off and we don't end up with a big mess on my eyes now I will have as many of these products linked and listed down below in the description box as I possibly can. I do know that Muerte is still available on the Melt website, but unfortunately Vita is no longer available. But per usual, if you're ever curious about anything I use in any of my videos here on my channel, always check the description box because I squeeze as much information as I possibly can into that tiny little space. But let's go ahead and see what we're going to be working with today. All right, y'all, so I have my random number generator pulled up on my phone and I have it set one through 10. And I think we're just gonna do three shades from each palette. I feel like six is a pretty solid number to work with. So let's go ahead and start with Muerte and we're gonna work from left to right. So number one is gonna be over here and number 10 is gonna be over here. So let's see what we're gonna get. So first number is going to be number 10. So we have a shimmer is going to be our first First one perfect it's light for the inner corner so let's go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand so we can kind of keep an eye on the color story that we have going on so there is our first shade nothing too intimidating nothing too scary but let's go into our second number so up next we're gonna have number nine so ooh, we have red I love a red eyeshadow so this one right here let's do a swatch of that one we're gonna put that one right here. Absolutely gorgeous, I love that red. There are some beautiful matte shadows in these palettes. Okay, third and final number from the Muerte palette is going to be number eight. It just kind of worked backwards on me. Okay, so number eight is going to be this deeper kind of maroon shade right here. Let's do a swatch of that one. All right, so there is our color story so far. Nothing hard, very easy look. So we have the shade Calca, Calica. We have Corazon and Sangre. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those correctly. I apologize if I butchered those, but let's go ahead and move on to the Vita palette. Now this is my favorite of the two, so I'm really excited about this one. So again, number one is gonna be over here. Number 10 is gonna be over here. And let's see what we're gonna get with this palette. I have eyeshadow everywhere. I'm making a huge mess. All right, first shade from Vita is going to be number four. So, Holding us up, we've got one, two, three, four. All right, so we've got a neutral shade to go with this. So let's go ahead and swatch that one out. That one is going to be Agua Ardiente. Oof, I'm sure I'm butchering this. All right, next shade right there. So very interesting color story so far, but also kind of simple at the same time. But let's keep going. We have two more shades. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Next up, we have number seven. So what is number seven? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got an orange. Okay, so that is the shade Soul. So let's go ahead and swatch this one out. And we're running out of room on my hand, and this is really awkward. But there is our next shade right there. All right, last shade. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for another shimmer, but I'm also not feeling too great about this. Okay. Last one is going to be number eight. So another matte. So we're gonna be doing an all matte look. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. I will say, even though I'm getting an all matte look, I don't find this to be a difficult color story. I'm gonna put this one right down here. So very pretty. I'm liking the red and orange. This one kind of throws a little bit of a wrench in things, but let me go ahead and kind of get my thoughts together, kind of see what I want to do, and we're going to start creating this look. 
All right, so I think I have kind of a look figured out in my head. I will be honest though, the shade's kind of throwing a little bit of a wrench into what I wanna do, but we're gonna roll with it. We're definitely gonna incorporate it because the rules are you have to play with every single shade that you pulled. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this shade right here, which is called Soul. That one is from the Vita palette. I have gone ahead and primed my eyes in my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And to start this look off, we're gonna take that shade with a Singe Beauty EO3, and I'm gonna start by putting this in my inner corner and start kind of bringing it into the inner portion of my lid and my crease. Now, since we only have one shimmer, I think I'm gonna go ahead and save that one for like all over the lid just to bring a little bit of like razzle and dazzle to this look but we're gonna go ahead and start here and kind of see what happens. So my idea is to kind of go from orange fading all the way over into red and then maybe doing this on the lower lash line or lining or something. I don't know, that one's really kind of throwing me for a loop. All right, so with the same brush, we're gonna go into this orange shade down here from the Vita palette. That one is called Pan Dulce, and I'm gonna pick that up with that same brush, like I said, and I'm just gonna start to kind of press this into the crease right next to that shade that I just put down, and I'm gonna bring this about halfway over, so right where my brow starts to arch, and then once I have these two shades down, I'm gonna go ahead and start to kind of blow them out a little bit, soften the edges, and then we'll go into our next shade, but I do really love a good orange and red look. All right, so popping into the Muerte palette, we're gonna go into this red shade right here, which is called Corazon, and I'm gonna pick that up with my Morphe M453 brush, and I'm gonna bring this right here on the outer corner and edge of my eye. I don't wanna bring it too far onto my crease, because I definitely or onto my lid, because I definitely wanna go in with that deeper shade, but I just wanna press this right here so we have a nice gradient from like that yellow-orange all the way over to the red, and then once I have this shade pressed down again I can go back with blending motions and soften out that edge once again okay so now we're gonna go into this deeper shade right here from the Muerte palette this one is called San Gray so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up with a Morphe M506 brush and we're gonna put this in my outer corner so we're just gonna build up a little bit of depth out here and I think I'm gonna kind of bring this down onto my lower lash line as well I'm not gonna bring it all the way over though I just want to leave it like right here out on the outer corner just to build up a little bit and kind of tie in that more new neutral shade right here that we're going to put down here but for now this is where we're going to leave it I'm loving the way that the lid is looking and I don't know what's going to happen when I put that kind of murky green neutral shade on the lower lash line all right, so I'm going back with the red shade called Corazon from the Muerte palette, and I am just kind of going right along the edges of that deeper shade that I put down, just so everything kind of blends a little bit better, and then we're gonna pop into that last matte shade. All right, so back over to the Vita palette, we're gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Agua Ardiente. I'm gonna pick that up with a Sigma E45 brush, and we're gonna fluff this along the rest of my lower lash line and just kind of connect this empty space down here. So I'm not gonna tight line, I'm not gonna blow it out too much. I just kinda wanna buff it down here. Bring it all the way over to that first orange shade that I used, and if I need to go back with it, I can. But you know what? I'm actually not upset with the way that this is looking. Okay, all right. All right, y'all, so we made it to the end. We have one more shade right here left to play with, and that's this really pretty ivory shimmer shade. So we're gonna put this one all over the lid. So I've already gone ahead and primed my lid with my NYX glitter primer per usual, and I am going to pick this one up with my BK Beauty 203 brush. I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus, and we're gonna put this all over the lid in that blank space and just kind of blend it in, almost doing like a halo effect, but not really quite so precise. So I'm gonna start by pressing the shade all over. I'm gonna bring it over to the inner corner, but not in the inner corner. I'm gonna kind of press it up into my crease. And then when I get over here, I'm gonna make sure that we blend it the best that I can. If I need to go back with that darker shade right there and kind of blend things together a little bit more, I absolutely will. I know that some people say that you can bring in other shades as long as you use everything, but I really wanna to stick to what we just pulled and not bring anything else in. 
All right, so I'm going back with a little bit of that dark maroon shade called San Gray from the Muerte palette, and I'm just very lightly kind of brushing it into that shimmer shade so we have a better blend. 100% if I was doing this, just kind of choosing whatever I wanted, I would pick a darker shimmer to kind of blend everything together, but we're working with what we got and we're blending the best that we can, but that's definitely softening it up and get rid of that, getting rid of that harsh line compared to what I have going on over here. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look, and I really love the way that this turned out. Overall, I had a very successful first palette bingo, although I will admit I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get a more challenging color story because I'm pretty sure I've done something very similar with these palettes before. Maybe not the shimmer on the lid and the color on the lower lash line, but other than that, I love an orange to red look. But let me show you what I used to finish off this look so we can turn down the light, see the shimmer, the sparkle, and then we can close out this video. So in my lower waterline, I went in with an Appeal Gel Liner. This is in the shade Next level. I lined my lid with my ZC liquid liner and then finished everything off with my Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. All right, y'all, so that is gonna complete this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Did you like the look? Do you have these palettes? Did this give you a little bit of inspiration? Also, let me know if you enjoyed the palette bingo and you wanna see more. I'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe rolling a palette bingo into a throwback Thursday every now and then. I don't know, could be fun, but like I said, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let's have that conversation, light up that comment section. And as usual, I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching my video and spending your time with me. It truly does mean so, so much to me. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.